You might watch a lot of Udemy courses if you click on this video and you might wonder if Udemy courses would actually help you to land a job. In the past, I've shared a ton of videos about Udemy reviews and courses that I would suggest to become a software developer. And in today's video, we're going to dive into this topic of can you get hired after Udemy? If you're interested in this topic, you might want to follow along. If you don't know me, my name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software developer in New York City. And in this channel, you would watch a lot of things that I talked about, including web development, software engineering, and maybe a few day in a live vlogs. If if you are interested in this type of content, maybe consider subscribing. However, in today's video, I want to talk about Udemy. And I know that I got a lot of questions from people who asked specific courses for Udemy and things like that. I did make a lot of videos in the past talking about courses that I would suggest on Udemy and things that I would help you to learn on your own if you are interested to learn to code or program. So let's dive into it. The first part that I I want to talk about is this Udemy learning journey. I would say if you pick the right Udemy course and follow through all of it, you will most likely understand like 60 to 70% of the course. I know a lot of people give up because it's not easy. It's very long hours of course that you have to go through. So let's say that you actually follow through, you put in the time and you watch the whole entire thing. Congratulations. However, you're not grasping everything in this course. I would say like maybe 60 to 70%, you might have understands it. So for people who actually did not give up and watch the course, I would say that you are great, like you actually power through this, but this is like maybe like the 20% of your learning journey. This is not enough, you have to do more. For programming, I think it's very important that you need to learn to put your hand onto the project, meaning that you actually need to code things out on your own. And the way to do that in order to learn these concepts is to build your own projects. I know you've heard a lot about this. You've heard a lot of people telling you, build your own projects, yada yada, contribute to open source, yada yada. They're true. You need to build to be able to learn. Unfortunately for programming, there's this thing where we call like muscle memories. You kind of have to like move your hands and to build it, to be able to truly understand it, to apply those knowledge into your project, to really learn it. So I would say like one of the best way is definitely to create your own portfolio of what you've learned from the course. However, I do want you to keep in mind with all these portfolios of projects that you built, the purpose is not for you to showcase these projects for the employers. No, this is the projects for you to like learn so then you can truly understand the concepts and the programming skills that you need. These are just like projects for you to practice. So don't take it too, too seriously because they're most likely not going to be production ready. And I don't want you to think too much into these projects and forgetting to just enjoy the process of learning. So this is what you should be doing for your Udemy course. You should learn, go through the course, and then then you should build projects according to what you've learned. And these are all just like the practicing phase. So then it will help you to truly understand the course and grasp all the skills that you need from that course. The second part I want to talk about is the experiences and interviews. Now, this is the crucial part because in order to get a job as a developer, this probably is the main part that you have to spend the most time besides just learning the skills. So courses, are only going to teach you what you need to learn to build projects. And the projects are not going to help you to really get the job. The projects is to help you to consolidate the stuff that you learned. However, what you need to do now is to actually try to land a job. And these are the things that you need. Number one, you need the experience. How do you get that? Well, you need to have experience in production level code. And I would highly recommend you to look for open source 
sourced contribution because those are more close to production level code than the code that you are practicing on your own project. If you can and have the experience and opportunities to shadow an experienced developer, I would say totally do that. But I don't think a lot of people had that kind of privilege. So I would say definitely try to find either a mentor or find freelancing projects that you can build on your own to provide business value. And this is one of those things where you can either gain those experiences through freelancing or volunteering or even contributing to open source. There you go. Second is you need to practice on interviews. This is very, very important. So far, everything that you've done is just to build up your resume, to learn the skills, to build projects so you can practice and be comfortable with the skills that you've learned from Udemy. And then you have to find projects and production level code to practice on to build up your resume. Now, after you build up your resume, the other really important part is like actually practice on interviews. And developer interviews are typically with behavioral interviews, technical interviews, the design system interviews, etc. So there's going to be a lot of different components to the interviews. And you will need to study and prepare very seriously every step in the way of these interviews. There are a lot of videos about that and how to help you to prepare for interviews. So in this video, I am not going to go through all of that elaborately. So if you wanted to know more about how to prep for interviews, I would highly recommend you to watch some of the videos that I created. I think I have like a whole playlist of that too. So check those videos out. Now, there's another thing that you know is Udemy also has courses where you can learn data structures and algorithms and how do you prep for interviews, all of that. So definitely pick one or two courses that you can stick with and learn those key concepts and how you can prep for interviews and really take it seriously and really try to practice. I would say definitely go to Lico and all these online resources to help you to practice on interviews because if you're not passing interviews, you're not getting a job. If you wanted to get hired as a developer, you need to pass those interviews. Okay, the third thing that you need is connections. Connections will give you opportunity to get hired or get you interviews. So you will need to learn how to network with people. And this is like a really important skill set to have, not only in person, but also online. I would really recommend you to build a really nice website where you can showcase your portfolio or the work that you've done. That could be a little bit time consuming. The fastest way that you could do that is create a LinkedIn profile. I am not sponsored by LinkedIn. This is really important. You need a social presence, especially if you're looking for a remote position, you definitely need your online presence to showcase of all the work that you've done. For LinkedIn profile, mainly you want to connect and network with recruiters. You want to be able to know when they have open positions. Another way that it is really good to network with other people is expand your in-person horizons on meetups and hackathons and other tech events that you can go to in your local community. And I know like every city is different and so like for New York City, there's so many tech meetups and things that are happening. So it's easier for people who live in major cities to network with other developers. If you're not living in a big city, I still feel like it's important to find out if there's any local meetups that you can go to, to just kind of put yourself out there, to build out the connections and, and try to network with other people and just geek out for a little bit to talk about the projects you've done, the business value that you bought to the team or the business. So those are the three things that you need. I'm gonna repeat that again. The first thing is you want to make sure that you need to build out the experience, especially the real world experience. The second thing is you need to practice on interviews because interviews is going to ultimately determine if you're gonna get an offer. The last but not the least, but it's also important is the networking because the networking is going to help you to know in the future if there's any opportunities occur. Now, the last part of this video, I want
want to talk about the certifications and education. I've got asked a lot about certifications from Udemy. Is it important? I will tell you this. As a full-time developer, having these certifications on Udemy is not going to help you to get a job. Recruiters or developers or anyone who look at your certifications are not going to be like, you know what, you don't need an interview. You know what? We can totally hire you. It's not going to happen. So I would say, yes, it's nice to have a certification. If you are into that, you want that to be like something that to show that you make really good effort into your work. However, certifications are not going to be useful unless if you are already have the real world experience on certain technologies or on certain platforms and you want to add that certification as part of that to showcase that you already know that you already have that certification that would be an entirely different story so i'll give you an example let's say that you worked on a project that need some accessibility improvement and you've done a bunch of work that is related to improving websites accessibility then you later also got a certification to prove that you know a lot about accessibility and those things are gonna add up on your resume and it's going to make you stand out because now that certification is equivalent and it's an add-on to your work experience and that is something that will make you shine however just having a Udemy certification it's not gonna do anything um, I wish I could say differently with a educational background. I know a lot of guys ask that too. So here's the thing, with a degree in computer science will help you a little bit because recruiters look at it a little bit differently. So with a Udemy certification, it's not going to do anything. With the education background in computer science will help you to kind of stand out a little bit. Not by a lot. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. I don't think education is like truly 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 worth the money at least in the united states but it will help you out a little bit it'll give you a little bit of a stepping stone however there's uh, so many people already having that educational background so you'll be competing with other people also have a bachelor degree of computer science or even a master degree of computer science the competition is a lot here the main takeaway for this is remember that experience especially real world experience it's all always better than certifications and educational background unless if you are graduating from MIT or Harvard or other really well-known prestigious school so let's go back to what do we learn here can you get higher after Udemy courses I would say absolutely yes what is just not about finishing the courses you need to follow through what I just said in the past about how you need to leverage the course and take actions to do a lot more after you finish the course to get you hired I hope this video give you a little bit more clear directions how you can do next after you finish your Udemy courses and maybe that also give you a little bit of hope that you could do this and you could also be a developer in the future and make sure to check out other videos that I make related to Udemy courses until next time I will talk to you soon you reach the end of this video leave a comment and say that I am going to be a software developer in 2024 until next time I will talk to you soon stay safe and adios